So you're trying to allow only email addresses in a Google form question. I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. So here we have a form. We've just collecting brief pitches, sales pitches, and we want a contact here. And we want the answer to only be an email address. So we might, may type an email here or email address or contact and we're going to select the short answer. But also we're going to click more options, these three dots in the bottom right corner. We're going to click response validation. Here we're going to change the number to text and we're going to change this contains to email. Now we could possibly give a custom error text if we want to share with the people replying to this form something very specific. If not, it'll just say you need to enter an email address. I would also go one extra step and click description and say enter an email address. I like doing this because this text doesn't show up in the name. So sometimes if I'm gathering information from people and I don't want the column name to be email address or enter your email address, I want it just to be contact or some very short phrase. I'll enter in the description actually the kind of information that I'm looking for, giving the user or the filler outer some more information before they get that error that tells them some indication that, hey, just enter an email address and that's the only thing we're getting here. We can go and look at that and say, it says here, enter an email address. And so if we say just Halloween Carl, you'll see right here it says must be a valid email. But if we enter custom email text, must be your own personal email address. Let's enter that as the custom text. Let's refresh, load, and we'll say hello. And see now the text that I entered must be your own personal email address is actually the error of text now. So there you go. You can put in any short answer you want and just say the text must be email address. I think the trick is here response validation is what you're looking for. Thanks for watching. If you're looking to get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before, subscribe here on YouTube to Better Sheets or become a member over at bettersheets.co.